Alrighty, it's Wild Card Wednesday where I'll play something random, or do something random. In this case, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the next Q&A session. So, let's get right to the questions. What are your top five favorite cartoons based on video games? And are there any video game based cartoons that you haven't seen that you're interested in checking out? Alright, I'm not going to do like a full on top five and break down. I kind of want this to be more rapid fire than anything else. Uh, first, one that comes to mind is probably Sonic the Hedgehog. I like those shows. Even the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I know it's a little silly and everything, but I thought that it captured the spirit of Sonic pretty well. And I found it entertaining. I can't really think of any that I haven't seen that I'd be interested in checking out. But if you have any, any recommendations or or favorites, you know, feel free to post them in the comments, and you know, I'll I'll uh, respond to those. If you're you know looking for something more specific than that. Were you ever into watching Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon growing up? What would you consider to be your favorite cartoons from both channels that you still enjoy as an adult? I watched them both. They were of different eras. You know, Nickelodeon was my uh, preschool to elementary school go-to network for sure. There were a lot of good shows on that channel in that, you know, late 80s, early 90s time period. Cartoon Network, um, you know, I didn't watch as much. Like, I was a big Nickelodeon head when I was a kid. Nick Cartoon Network, at that point, there were a lot more channels, a lot more... You know, my horizons had been expanded as far as entertainment goes, so... As much as I liked Cartoon Network, I wasn't tuning in as often as I had Nickelodeon. As far as favorite shows that I still enjoy right now, Cartoon Network, I'd probably say Powerpuff Girls. I um, It probably holds up the most as far as uh, shows that were originally Cartoon Network. There are some Adult Swim shows that I like too, but they were not you know, exclusive or uh, like Cowboy Bebop, for example. I'm not a big anime fan, but that was one of my favorites. Uh, and actually, Metalocalypse too. Uh, that's that's definitely one of my favorites too. As far as Nickelodeon goes, Ren and Stimpy probably would be my favorite Nickelodeon show to this day. A lot of good ones though. What's your favorite controllers to use on retro games? Always the controller that the system was made for is preferable. That's always the ideal. Not always doable if I'm running on emulators for you know the channel, but. You know, that would be my preference if I had complete control over it. What's your favorite dog breed? This is tough because... I mean, you're, you're always going to be partial to dogs that you had as pets. The dog that I had for the longest amount of time that I was closest to was a Chocolate Lab Rottweiler mix. He was definitely more Chocolate Lab than Rottweiler as far as personality goes. Also had a shepherd for a little while, although that was more like my stepfather's dad's dog when he was uh, living with us for a, for a period of time. But if I'm speaking just objectively uh, as far as what breed I most admire, and if money were no object, and practicality was thrown out the window and I could just have any dog that I wanted, I would say a pure husky would be, although it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of upkeep. And maintenance and and all that but I mean just strictly if you know none of that is a factor I really like uh, huskies what's your favorite fancy food versus junk food snack I mean are you asking whether I prefer fancy versus junk food or what's my favorite of each category I'm gonna say believe it or not that my go-to snack used to be pop-tarts I would eat cold pop-tarts that was always how I've eaten them and they were always a go-to snack and that was mostly when I was a kid slash teenager those are my favorites I think now I'd say Cheez-Its would be my favorite junk snack fancy food I mean I don't get too fancy maybe chicken cordon bleu would probably be as close as you know to fancy food as uh, where I would go as far as my favorites how long is your list of games that you plan to review and how often do you add to it First off, I have, like, a rotational system in place where every week I'll upload a soundtrack ranking, followed by an Atari review, followed by a review walkthrough or a short review. So it's, it's those three always in a rotation. If you're asking me how many of those, those are, like, my Sunday staples. And 
if you're asking how many of those Sunday uploads that are I have planned in advance, usually something like 9 or 10 I'll have on my list and I always try to stay ahead of the game. I try to I try to at least have a month's worth of these videos finished and uploaded and scheduled to be launched up on YouTube by about a month or so, especially if I've got something big coming out, like I recently did Resident Evil 2. That was one where I made sure I was like three months caught up and that I could work squarely and solely on that game. And I pretty much finished it about a week before it was uploaded, so those big... I, I'm oftentimes catching up in order to get far enough ahead of myself to focus on a big project like that. And then I'll take a break from something big like that for a while, at least until I can get ahead of myself again and take a breather from such a big thing. Watching your videos, we know how you feel about LJN games. Is there one that you find is playable, and which is your least favorite? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is very playable. Uh, I recently did a Throwback Thursday on that one. That's the first one that comes to mind as far as playable LJN games. There might be some other ones, but I mean, they're usually not good. There is a stigma attached to LJN games, and rightfully so, but they're not all awful. As far as least favorite, either Back to the Future Part 2 and 3, or uh, WWF Steel Cage Challenge. That one was... Ugh. Have you ever played any of the 3D Mario games, Mario 64, Sunshine, or Super Galaxy, etc.? If you have, which one is your favorite and why? I've definitely played more of the 2D Mario than the 3D Mario, only because I didn't have as many of the Nintendo consoles when the 3D games were released. The one that I've played the most is 64, so I have a bit of a nostalgic attachment to it. I'd lean towards that one. Just out of curiosity, what made you choose to do Mega Man Maker on Mondays? Why not Mario Maker 1 or 2? I mentioned in the last uh, question, I don't own a Nintendo console right now that has Mario Maker on it. I do not own Mario Maker 1 or 2. And Mega Man is pretty much my favorite series uh, in the 8-bit era. I love Mario, don't get me wrong. And I think Mario Maker is a fantastic game, even though I haven't played it. It's just, I, I mean, I know that it's Mario, and the whole uh, level creation idea is always something that I've been a fan of and have called for. But Mega Man in particular was one that I wanted since I was, literally since I was a child when I was playing the Mega Man games. I used to draw Mega Man levels on paper all the time, make up my own Robot Masters. So this is a dream come true, Mega Man Maker. So I'm, I'm partial to Mega Man. You know, I've collaborated with Hanu on the uh, Mega Man cartoons. I've always gravitated towards Mega Man in a lot of facets, so it was just natural for me to do Mega Man Maker Monday. Would you consider playing a 1993 season of Tecmo Tuesday as the Washington Redskins? 1993 was not a good season for them, although most seasons haven't been, and maybe you could improve their record that year. Well, I have announced, uh, since this question was asked, I have uh, officially announced that 93 season, the, the third season, will be uh, my third and final season playing as the early 90s Colts. I'm going to move on to something else after that. Different team, probably. Different era of the game, possibly. I don't know yet at all what I'm going to do after. I'm not even thinking about it. 93 Redskins would be an interesting team to do because, like you said, that was a bad season for them. It was really the turning point, uh, a new era, as Gibbs was gone, and they, they, they were a bad team starting then, and they would only be good a few times since then, really. But I am not going to... I'm going to do a, another cold season for 93. What's your opinion on each Rocky movie, including Creed 1 and 2? Believe it or not, I have not seen either of the Creed movies yet. I, I want to. They're on my list. I, they've been around forever. I haven't got around to watching them. And now, the, you know, it's like the more I think about it, the more I have to. Maybe maybe I'll just force myself say, hey, I, you know, time to watch Creed 1 and 2. But of the six Rocky movies, I mean, I like them all for different reasons except for five. I feel like one and two are just the best ones that they, they, they're almost like one movie, a run on movie. They have the 
same flow and formula. It just seems like a direct continuation, those two. Three and four are just pure entertainment and fun. Especially four, that one's just, I mean, it's a montage for about 60% of the film. And then uh, Rocky V was a mistake. And Rocky Above All was a nice little way to uh, make up for Rocky V and give it a decent closer. They're all watchable. I even watched five. I will say that um, George Washington Duke was a bright spot. Him being an over-exaggerated, not even an exaggerated Don King. I mean, it was if you would have put the wig on him, he would have been Don King. It, it was he was a great character, but it was a disappointing movie. But I'll still watch it. I will watch. I, sometimes I go back and I watch the the you know the six Rocky movies front to back. But I gotta watch, next time I do it though, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna watch Creed's 1 and 2 to follow it up, and maybe I'll, you know, come back to this question with a more updated answer. Alright, so here's another rapid fire question, don't think, shoot. Nintendo or Sega? Nintendo, Outrun or Rad Racer? Outrun, Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior or Final Fantasy? Dragon Warrior, Solid Snake or Chris Redfield? Snake, Liquid Snake or Wesker? Liquid... Monopoly or Clue? Uh, I like both. Monopoly. Chess or Mahong? I'm not aware of Mahong, so chess. I'm definitely. I, I, I love to play chess. Batmobile or Kit? Uh, Batmobile. Uh, you know, Kit's cool and everything, but Batmobile. Phantom of the Opera or Man of La Mancha? Phantom, um, just because I'm familiar with only that one of the two. Regarding your Throwback Thursday series, I was thinking eventually you will run out of games to play as you don't do as many reviews as you used to. Also, a lot of viewers ask you to play games that you haven't reviewed. So my question is, would you ever consider letting us request games we would like to see reviewed and you would actually play and review them? This will... and then it cuts off there. I, I think I'm getting where you're going with this, though. I don't think I'm going to run out, though. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of games that I... Uh, have reviewed that I haven't thrown back that I haven't thrown back that I haven't done for the Robot Thursday yet and I will probably have several of them be episodic the, like I did Buck Your Hair in several parts and there will be other ones like that where it will take four, five, maybe six episodes which is a month and change so, you know, there, there's plenty for it to back up. But I will accept requests, although I don't really... I've lost track of so many of them. I, I've... You know, I don't file them away like I do with the weekday throwbacks and other such requests. Because of the fact that making a review is a lot more work than simply recording myself playing a game and speaking, as much as I'll take requests into consideration... So much more of my choice falls on what I feel like playing and reviewing. Maybe I'm busy with things and I would rather review something that is quicker and easier to get through, as an example. Or maybe I'm just in the mood for something. Or maybe it's I look at it and I say, I've reviewed some, some shitty games recently. I have to throw in something that's good to balance out the scale a little bit. You know, it, de it depends on, on all of that. But, you know, yeah, feel free to request them. Although, as I know, like I said, I can't guarantee anything. So that's it for this edition of the Q&As. Feel free to leave questions in the comment section. And I'll see you next time.